Raymond made my voice all high. My voice does not sound like that. Dude, you're gonna make this one high, huh? No, you're gonna make this one deep. <laughs> Starting days off with a couple of things. Number one, the throwback sticker packs are officially available at RaymondWarner.com. Yes, that does include the Night Llama sticker. So if you guys want one of those sticker packs, there are only a hundred of them on the website and then they are gone, toast, no more. Absolutely never gonna see another Night Llama sticker, ooh sticker, anything like that. This is your chance. If you guys have wanted one of these sticker packs for a very long time, you gotta go right now, www.raymondwarner.com. Get yours before they are gone absolutely forever. Number two, I'm down here at Madison Ditch right now, and this is looking pretty freaking good. If you guys missed the video, you can click that card right now. We redid this entire quarter pipe. It took about five hours of work. It was me, Brando, Jess, and Tito. We worked so hard on this thing. We do have some minor cracking for sure, but it's mainly along the edges, um, and it, but it feels pretty pretty solid like it's obviously hard because it's concrete the main spot that I'm worried about is kind of up here in this corner spot um, this is kind of getting affected right now we did leave it like this because we figured nobody's gonna be riding right here which is why we were all wrote all of our names right here but we do have a large crack right here if that starts to get wider I'm gonna cruise over to Home Depot and get some filler to fill those in I might just go ahead and do the same for all of these spots that do have some minor cracking just because it would be a good idea just to have it looking nice and um, just to prevent those from spreading any further but the main concern is the center of the ramp and the center of the ramp is looking freaking prime it's smooth there's not a lot of issues in the center we do have like a small spot right here which i don't know if somebody messed with it when we left or something like that i don't think anybody did but there is a small imperfection right here and a small one right here in the middle but everything else is looking pretty freaking good little worried about um the tie-in right here just because this is always the first thing to kind of go and start to fade away or get chunky or whatever but if it starts to happen that's a really really easy one to fix there's no curve to it or anything it's on flat ground we'll be able to patch that up really nicely but our main concern was getting this part right, right in the center, because this was absolutely haggard before. We made it a roller on the top. I know this part is going to break away pretty quickly if people start to stall this thing, which is going to happen. But this quarter is more of like a jumper up onto the bank right here, or just to do air tricks or whatever. It's not a super good quarter, you guys. So if you do end up coming down here to get a quick session on the ramp that we built, please be respectful of it. But do not come for at least a few more days, because it might look dry right now. But if this suffers any direct contact like with a peg or a deck it will break away quickly so please 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 do not come here do not come here and ride this ramp yet we put a lot of work into this and I really want to see the community enjoy it for the next 10 plus years because I know that I've enjoyed it for the past 10 years and um, I would really like to see that happen again don't want this quarter pipe looking like this in a week this sucks don't want to see this so again the second time please do not come here do you have my spray bottle to kind of cure this thing up a little bit making sure that it's drying nicely um, you guys are probably thinking like what are you talking about drying nicely you're sp spraying it with water it's just to make sure that it dries correctly essentially hoping to avoid more potential cracks things like that yeah it's looking pretty good so far so give me a couple minutes I'm gonna get this entire thing sprayed down really quick I think it's gonna do it for now. Still got the names on there, which is really cool, and the scoot, of course. Uh, but yeah, that'll, that'll do it for spraying it for now. Uh, I'll come back here tomorrow and check it out. Uh, I donated uh, the gallon of water to the lady that lives here. Um, I don't know what her name is, but now she's got some, some water. But I'm gonna head out for Madison for the day, and I think I'm gonna go see what everybody's up to. So, uh, spot number two. You know, last night I was kind of kicking myself a little bit thinking like, dude, you could have gotten that quarter pipe smoother and we could have, if we sat there and worked at it for the next like four hours or something like that, we probably could have gotten it like perfect. But going back there today, I realized, dude, it's, it's not a skate park. It's a DIY spot. It's not supposed to be super, super smooth. That's not what DIY spots are about. So today I'm a lot more proud of it. But right now we are gonna go to the skate park and see if there's anybody there riding. We are over here at Cal Oak Skate Park right now and I wanna show you guys something very, very new to the entire scooter community right now that 
that you definitely have not seen before. The all new Envy wheels. Now these aren't just any kind of wheel. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but that says tri-bearing and these are a 30 mil wheel. So these are wider than the normal Lambos. Tri-bearing means exactly what you're thinking. These have three bearings inside of them. You guys are probably thinking, why do these wheels have three bearings? What's the use of that? Three bearings means that the surface area of the actual axle is longer slash wider, which means that more weight will be displaced throughout the wheel, which means that your bearings will last longer. At least that's the theory. I know that sounds really confusing, but I swear it makes sense. Now, how does that work? There's three bearings inside of there, which means that there's two spacers inside of there that are spacing each bearing apart. Normally there's only one spacer with two bearings to make sure that they don't clamp in and touch each other. Same method applies here. Although something that I think might revolutionize the sport of scootering is the tread. These wheels have tread on them on the actual urethane. You guys can see there are small indentations on the entire wheel that has a purpose and it's the exact purpose that you would think grip these are not brand new wheels i have ridden them a little tiny bit you guys can see there's like a couple of scuffs on them like that and a small amount of wear on the top the reason that i am riding my lambos right now is because i screwed up the bearing in one of these trying to get it out because i wanted to see how everything was put together not a good idea because now i can't actually ride these and i want to but i'm going to throw them on for you guys and i'm going to ride around on them so you guys can see exactly how these things ride availability I don't know. I don't know when these wheels are going to be available at local Envy dealers. Although, from the looks of it on Instagram, it looks like these wheels are going to come in a black urethane, a blue urethane, a gold urethane, as well as a clear urethane. So, relatively neutral colors, but you guys know, me having this blue deck, I'm definitely getting my hands on the blue set. It's like a bluish glitter too. I'll put the photo right here so that you guys can see it. See, it's like a bluish glitter. Same with the gold. The gold's kind of a gold glitter. Really, really neat. It's, it's a different concept, and I'm very excited to see how it affects the scooter wheel industry but let me throw these things on really quick and give them a shot oh god sorry jess my bad thanks here is our wheel now if you guys are thinking about getting these wheels just so you know you are going to need different spacers for the back of your deck these are my baby spacers and you will also need a 30 mil wide wheel compatible fork plus these are 120 so you also need a 120 mil compatible fork so just so you all know One down, one to go. No. <coughs> For the record, the reason I was trying to take this entire wheel apart because I wanted to see how everything worked and I messed up one of the bearings. So that's why it's probably not gonna sound that good because I done did doodly do that, broke it. But let's ride. All right, got both the wheels on there now as well as the new fork. Definitely want to start it off with some fast and like turny maneuvers. So we're gonna start it off by going down, get some speed and get in the gap. Oh man, I went almost to flat. Stay still, Michael. Far over the gap. Probably the most interesting thing about these wheels is when I turn, you can hear the fact that I'm like kind of leaning on one side of the wheel because you can hear like a high pitched squeal. Very different for us scooter riders. It's not like a bike. Nice. So let's drop in and get like a little squiggly with it and see if we can feel a difference. Dropping in. I mean, yeah, I could definitely feel a difference because of the wider wheel you guys can probably hear it listen listen closely you hear the little squeal these wheels are a little bit heavier than my lambos are so that's a little bit different for me let's get a back-to-back -back flip whip train with jess i will go first high five yes it is it's nice my back foot was moving around so much all right jess first go close all right round two That was a little better on my end. Still landed it. Ah! Are you trying double flip whip? Or is that okay? <laughs> do the wheels feel grippier? Yes, yes, in a sense they definitely do, especially when you're turning. But do the wheels feel faster? That's the question because it is a wider wheel. Right now, no. And the reason is because I destroyed these bearings. If I had fresh bearings, I'm sure they would feel faster because my wheels that I was just now riding have relatively good bearings in there. But I exploded this back one and I have to tighten it more than usual because I screwed it up. They're still pretty quick. Although if I do want to continue to ride them, I'm going to have to do those repairs. Flip whip again. I want to do a heel whip. Let's see it, Michael. Do it flat. I can't. You can't. Whoa, that actually was pretty close. Okay, Michael, I feel you. Hup. That was freaking sketch. Drop it in, see if you get that flip whip. You tried to do it again. I saw you. Fourth attempt. My hands are so dirty right now. That's disgusting. Fourth attempt. Flip whip. 
You just are boofing this one today, bud. Sorry, God. That's what I'm thinking. God, still filming for a flip whip. Oh, God. Fifths go for Jess's flip whip. Sixth go coming up. Aren't you sponsored by Scooter Zone or something? Sixth attempt for Jess. You freaking lean forward, Jess. Jesus. Do a front flip whip so you can't loop out like you are. No. Click the card right now. Will Jess land this flip whip? This go. This is his seventh attempt. He says yes. I'm, I'm not as confident, Jess. I'm sorry. Seven. Oh, you barely got it. Hey, in the front scoop. I got your back. I clicked no on the card. Here you are, proving me wrong. What do you think about that? It's good. That's it? It was amazing. That's it? What do you want me to say? Something more than it was good or amazing. It was legendary. You got my back? Sure, I'll, I'll attempt it. All right, deal. I'm ready. For a first attempt ever, that was pretty good. I'll, I'll back that, I'll back it. I want you to ride these wheels and tell me what you think about them. Turn a lot and give me your honest opinion. Like, turn, see if they're grippier. My freaking hands. Yeah, see if they're grippier. Like, lean really far, see what you think. They feel good. Feel all right? They feel good. Ride around the park a little bit and come back and let me know what you think. You leaving? And bye. Your hands are probably really dirty now because mine are really dirty. <laughs> Raymond made my voice all high. My voice does not sound like that. Dude, you're gonna make this one high, huh? No, you're gonna make this one deep. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram at Raymond Warner. <laughs> Yo, back you off or you have no nuts. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jess is about to get skewered. <laughs> Can I please have the number three with an extra Jess kebab? No. <laughs> of every clip I could have gotten close on, the whip. <laughs> How they feeling though? Honest opinion, like like if they suck, tell me. They feel good. They, they feel actually good. do feel good. Do so they feel grippier? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I a little feel bit. Like I turn more. You can feel like when you turn, you can. You, can you hear the? Ee! Yeah. Is that weird? A little bit. Yeah. It's a little weird, huh? A little bit. I agree. And my voice doesn't sound like what Raymond put it at right now. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. It sounds exactly like that. Don't you agree? Yeah, it yeah, really see? does. Agree. Yeah. See you later, Steve-O. Let me get a triple whip. Triple whip catch. Yeah. On yours or mine? Mine. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Your hands are dirty now. <laughs> you get dirty hands, and you get dirty hands, and you get dirty hands. Actually, doesn't sound that bad right now. We've got the Vital Grip tape on there. Make sure you guys get your Vital goodies. Got the Vital Grips on there and they be chilling. Here you go, Nate. Have a good time. Feel those wheels, Nate. Hey, Michael, how are you? You working on your scooter building skills? Have you built another scooter since the last time when you built mine? No. Not yet? He's gonna be my personal scoot mechanic when you grow up, right? He said, yeah. Nate says he wants yeah. to get close for the video, but I told him he should probably do it on his because mine is a lot bigger than his. So go ahead, Nate, what do you want to do? I'll do backflip out of the five, drop back in, and then do a double flip out of the mini bank. First trick on the list is a backy from Nate. No problem. Now he's gonna get his double whip. Yeah, Nate. You wanna get another one? I'll do 360 out of the five. Benny Hanna coming out of the mini bank. Drop it in. Front side three. He's gonna come back and get the Benny Hanna. Keep riding, man. Keep doing your thing. In the end, the wheels are really, really cool. And like I said, I'm really excited to see what the entire rest of the scooter community thinks about these wheels when they do come out. I gotta take them over to a shop soon and get those bearings out because I really need to switch them because I broke them. Michael's gonna ride it. Go for it, dude. Have some fun. The perks of being a pro, everybody wants to ride your scoop. That is totally fine with me. Right now, I'm freaking starving. What else is new? So I'm gonna go grab something to eat.